Hey, we are on location in the Waxhaw Mineral Springs area. Here's some guys, got OSHA compliant helmets on. They're doing their job framing up this house. Man, this is going to be an amazing and a remarkable neighborhood. Look at the roof lines. When I say the roof lines, I mean, look how those hip roof elements just make that just so gorgeous. Then that little swoosh there on the side. That's how you do it. That's style, guys. So now MI Homes, as well as Eastwood Homes are here. This is an MI Homes beauty and uh, pricing mostly in the 400s. I, I think you could probably hit five. <laughs> but guys, this is a brand new plat. It does not feel like wax hall, though that's what the address is. It feels m more like, I don't know, I saw the sign that said Mineral Springs. Mineral Springs isn't really a small town like wax hall is, but it's more of an area. Oh man, that's pretty. Look at the black and the white accents. That's gonna be a model home. And so, uh, you do want to call me at 704-345-3400 and let's get you on board with one of my fabulous broker partners, another model home. Uh, they've also got some great ranches. In fact, at the end of this video, you'll see a video tour that I did of their very popular home known as the Ashboro. That's from Eastwood Homes. So right up there is the front. Now let me tell you proximity-wise where we are. In other words, if you think Waxhaw, if you know the area, you think about heading down NC-16 and then going down all the way down Bonds Grove, all the way down Kensington, all the way down to downtown Waxhaw, or maybe you've turned and you've gone across Kensington, uh, Cuthbertson over, uh, Cuthbertson over towards Lawson, or uh, Kensington over towards Millbridge, but you don't have to go that far south on NC-16 to see this particular neighborhood known as uh, Wren, are you ready for it? Wren's Creek, Wren Creek, two ends on Wren. Now see, I don't care who you are. That right there, that's good looking. Coming off as a dormer up there, there's a room up there. Go MI Homes. And by the way, look at the space between the homes. Some of the houses in here are on lots, you know, half an acre or more. So that's something that a lot of people want. Pricing in the 400s and maybe up into the fives. But you see the woods behind there? Isn't that what everybody wants? I know, right? So now there are a few homes for sale right now. We're coming up right here on an Eastwood home that's known as the Ashboro. This has been a very popular video, the model home I did of that, but I shot that one. If you wait around to the end, you'll see over 3,200 square feet, priced nicely, side load garage. Look at the woods behind there. It's got a fire pit, etc. This one's got a three car garage space. This is lot eight. So you just want to call me. Let me connect you to one of my agents. Jack's in the back. We're out shooting videos these days. This one's sold. And here's, what, here's a recurrent theme, people. Sold, 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 right? Because the word's out. And really good real estate agents are, are keeping up. Sold, lot 10. Why? Woods on the back. Beautiful. Now, here's one that's available as of today. We're early September. Lot number 11. And so some lots are Eastwood. These are Eastwood lots. 12 is available, very desirable. This one is sold. Gonna fan out a little bit because it's on the curve. Uh, and then MI has certain lots that are available. But what you don't wanna do is reach out to the builder uh, without telling them, hey, I do have a buyer's agent and here's why. You ready? I'm reading to you from a document that the builders don't give you until they get you under contract. They're required to do it when you walk in the model, but they don't. Sold. Here's a desirable one. Lot number 15. It's very easy, 15 right there. It's very easy to believe that that very nice, knowledgeable sales agent uh, is trying to help you, and they are. They're trying to help you buy a house for their client. Who's their client? Not you, the seller. Let me read you a line from working with real estate agents. The agent represents the seller not you, and therefore must try to obtain for the seller the best possible price. Oh, they're not working for you. So that's why you need a buyer's agent. And that's why that document, Working with Real Estate Agents, is supposed to be explained to you when you first walk in the door, but they don't do that. And so I'm objecting. I'm getting actually a little <clears throat> irate with these builders because they are, look at all that land moving, wow. They're supposed to give it to you early on. You walk in, you think that that person is your agent. They're not your agent. They're the, the builder's agent. And you have the right to have your own buyer's agent. And here's the rub. They've already got that worked into the price of the home. 
to pay my team to come and help you buy a house, but because they haven't explained it to you, you may not understand that. And by not understanding that, you may just say, well, they're pretty good people. I went to the MI uh, agent, they're pretty nice. I went to the Eastwood agent, I like them maybe better, I don't know, I like them, I like this. You know those agents are trained, highly trained, to uh, uh, get information from you that will help them sell you a house. You go to two agents, you go to the Eastwood agent, then you go to the MI agent, guess what? Right, they're working against each other and really they don't have your best interest at heart. Their builder, their seller is fully represented and you're not represented at all, somebody trying to get you the best price and the best transaction. It goes much deeper. This is an Eastwood on lot 36. It goes a lot deeper than that. And again, if I sound a little angry, 35 is available. I am because here's why. These uh, builders, not necessarily these two, these are both good builders in relation to what I'm talking about, but there are a couple three builders that are coyote ugly. That's a lot 33, it's available for an Eastwood home. This is an Eastwood. Looks like a ranch, ranch and a half on 32. That might be one of those Ashboroughs again. And uh, wow. But there are a couple of these builders that are saying, well, you know, you didn't bring them in, therefore we're not gonna pay you. Oh, really? You want me to have the buyer pay me when they're already paying for it in the price of the house? Yeah, it, it gets deep, guys. And if I sound a little angry, I am because, again, remember Erin Brockovich? Yeah, she was angry too because the consumer was not being well taken care of by the other side. And so as nice and great as these builders are, that agent in the model or on the phone, <clears throat> shout out, Melissa Shubin from MI, love you. <laughs> but they are working for the seller. They're working for the builder and they should get this document in your hands. When my agents go out, my team, that's the first thing we do. Right, we explain to you agency. We explain to you who works for who. And we show you this document that North Carolina Real Estate Commission wants us to get you at the first substantial contact. So guys, give me a call. I'd love to talk to you about it. Subscribe, like, and share on location at Wren Creek. And I will look forward to hearing from you and I'll see you in the next video.